cup is running on low it's empty so it's time to fuel ourselves and i'm about to put y'all on to my favorite oatmeal recipe so this is regular regular maple brown sugar oatmeal it's the best oatmeal out there i don't care that and strawberry cream right so what you're gonna do is get you a pack of oatmeal some cinnamon and some brown sugar i mix all of my dry ingredients first yeah i sound a fish you don't not pray low key high key i put way too much brown sugar it was real sweet this day look at it bloop but anyway it was still good so yeah i'm gonna make sure i start it all up make sure everything is well incorporated and then you're gonna get you some almond milk if you drink regular milk i'm judging you i'm sorry like how your face don't break out from all that dairy and if you like oat milk can you let me know in the comment section like which one you like because i tried some oatmeal i mean some oat milk and it was disgusting so once I warm that up in the microwave for a minute and 30 and then I take it out and I stir it and I do another 30 seconds, you're going to get you some crunchy ass uh, granola. This is the crunchiest granola I've ever experienced in my life. But before you get that, get you a little bit of peanut butter. I don't even like peanut butter for real, y'all. But it tastes so good. Like, I made my oatmeal a little runny on purpose because once you add the peanut butter and the crunchy granola, it just creates the perfect consistency. Like, it just tastes so good. And I'm a texture girl, so I like the softness of the hot oatmeal and then the crunchiness of the granola. It just tastes too good. So make sure you break it down if you're using, like, the bars because them joints be big pieces and once you fold that in gently you're gonna get you some berries i like strawberries and blueberries and of course i'm gonna you know cut them down because they be fat ass pieces in a bag but y'all this is just it tastes so good it makes you feel like you're eating dessert for breakfast it's the perfect amount of sweetness from the fresh fruit and then the oatmeal it just tastes too good shit fire so if y'all ever try it let me know and i don't know how people can take their vitamins on an empty stomach i can't so now that i've ate my breakfast i'm gonna take these hum vitamins and i'm gonna take my birth control because baby i don't want no kids no time soon and i'm not even gonna sit here and tell y'all go buy these vitamins i really don't like them i hate the way they taste they're super big i be choking like bro it'd be a struggle but you know Take your vitamin sissy poo because it's very important. 
But from this angle, you probably thought I had my life all together and I actually don't. My house is a pigsty, so let's clean up. so later in the day okay i ended up wrapping up with work changing to my comfy clothes and i made me some dinner and i also meal prepped for the week and i feel so proud of myself so but i know this is my first time like talking to you in real time and getting on the camera so hey how you doing um i hope y'all enjoyed this like silent vlog that i was doing i'm kind of testing out new types of content so if you fuck with this type of vibe comment down below please let me know or like the video because that'll probably let me know that you enjoy this type of content i'm also happy to actually finally talk to y'all hello missed y'all love y'all so much so yeah let's get into what i made for dinner i just created some salmon and veggie uh, skewers over a bit of brown rice with a side of asparagus and like i said i meal prepped so i have the same meal here without the um asparagus because i'm just gonna make some more tomorrow um i ran out and in this bowl i have asparagus peppers onions and the salmon because I'm trying to limit the amount of carbs that I eat per day and then I'm probably not going to even eat all that's on my plate so I have extra skewers. Don't worry, I found the whole process if you are interested in the little recipe. I'm going to roll the clips real soon but before I do that I wanted to talk about why I'm limiting myself to to um only having carbs two days throughout the week because girl i don't want to get full like i don't want to get too big okay so my body really reacts directly to what i put in it so if i'm on a veggie diet i'm gonna look like a stick i'm gonna lose my butt i'm gonna lose my hips and i don't like that i don't appreciate that because i work hard to get those in the first place we love the gains and then i'm gonna eat if i'm and then if i'm eating too many carbs i get bloated i get huge i swell like a whale and it's really all about what you want your body to look like and how you want to maintain it so i want a little slim petite little thick you know little figure and i want to maintain whatever figure that i want at that moment so by limiting myself to having carbs twice a week i don't know if i said twice a day early i did not mean twice a day twice a week okay i don't have much bloating I'm keeping my booty because I'm eating lots of meats and veggies and lots of protein, but limiting my carbs and it's been working. And I just like cooking y'all, so I was having fun in the kitchen or whatever. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the clips of my yummy meal.
that y'all have seen me cook let's see what this tastes like okay <sighs> i'm nervous mm. no no way jose i'm trying to show y'all let me get out the way do y'all see what this look like if the salmon had a bow, it would have fell right off of it. It's so juicy, tender, and if I just say so much, oh, this tastes too good. Mmm. The veggies still have that crunch, but they're not too crunchy. If your veggies are mushy, that means you overcook them. Like, you should be able to hear your Crunch. Oh, wow. I ain't overcooked my rice or nothing. Usually I overcook my rice, y'all. But slow and steady wins the race. That is like I boil the water first. My man told me how to make rice. Actually, thank you, Michael. Like you, y'all. Cause I would like put a rice in the in the water and let it boil together. He was like, no, you need your water to be boiling first. Like pasta. I said, okay, teach me something. He was like, you know, season your water, put salt in it, like you do your pasta. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, uh, double the water per the amount of rice you did. So I did one cup of rice, so I did two cups of water. Okay. And then it was boiling at first, but then I turned it down and then put the top on it. And let it just do a stuff fizzle, and it should kind of have holes in it. And it should be nice and fluffy, not mushy. I said... You is worth something, boo, because you really know how to cook some rice stuff. Now, I know how to cook rice, period, because I used to mess it up all the time. This tastes so freaking bomb. Mmm. I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and now I have lunch for two days. I'm going to try to do this each month. Like, literally do a deep clean. I clean other areas of my house, too, y'all. I mopped, I swept, but I just didn't feel like showing y'all that. I put all my dishes away. Now I gotta rewash dishes, but girl, they go right in this dishwasher. And I just think it's really important to just get your mind and get your house right before you go into a new month. But yeah, y'all, today is February 28th. I'm excited to go into the month of March. I am wishing nothing but blessings, congratulations. You have been accepted. Just great. Damn. Just <laughs> That's how much I care about y'all. I'm real passionate. Just, I'm just, I just must be greatness over y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all my boo things and stay tuned to the next video because I got a lot of content coming, okay? Bye, mamas.